The Honda Accord is a nameplate that needs no introduction Honda's family sedan has been on sale in the use since the days of 8-track tapes more than 41 years ago, and dealers sell an average of one Accord about every two minutes the question now is whether the Accord can hang on to its status as one of the two most popular and sensible choices in the world of family sedans, the other being the Toyota Camry, at a time when compact crossovers are rapidly becoming the bread and butter family sedans of the 2010s if our time in the 2018 Accord is any indication, Honda has no reason to worry. What's new in the 10th generation Accord? When it comes to engines, there are three main flavors to choose from, the range kicks off with a 1.5-liter DOHC direct-injected turbo four-cylinder pumping out an even 192 horsepower and 192 pounds FT of torque, paired with a choice of a six-speed manual or a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, that's a boost of 7 horsepower and 11 pounds FT of torque over the outgoing naturally aspirated 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder above that sits the new 2.0-liter direct-injected turbocharged four-cylinder, good for 252 horsepower and 273 pounds FT of torque. This engine is a close sibling of the firecracker found under the hood of the 2017 Civic Type R, and it's paired with a choice of a six-speed manual transmission, a different one than in the 1.5-liter, we should note, or a new 10-speed automatic that's right, 10-speed is the new 6-speed, but it's actually 22 pounds lighter than the outgoing 6-speed automatic. The third option is a 2.0-liter Atkinson cycle engine paired with two electric motors producing 143 horsepower and 100 29 pounds FT of torque in the new Accord Hybrid. One engine you won't find on the menu anymore is a V6. The new 2.0-liter turbo is close enough to the departed 3.5-liters output to not be worth the weight and fuel economy hit, 